Hey guys, this is Ray from Phone Arena and you're watching a benchmark comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the Samsung Galaxy S4. Why would we want to make such a comparison? Well, of course, this is because the white Galaxy S4 here has the Snapdragon 600 processor and the black one is equipped with the um, Exynos 5 Octa CPU. Of course, the best way to find out if there are any significant differences in terms of performance between the two versions of the Galaxy S4, the best thing we can do is to run um, a few synthetic benchmarks. And so right now we're just going to start with Quadrant, the industry standard, uh, the go-to Android benchmark. I'm running the full benchmark. and. Uh, I'll just pause the video and resume once we have the results. And here we have the first results from the Quadrant benchmark. The white Galaxy S4, which is the Snapdragon 600 version, has a score of 12,727 points, while the black Galaxy S4, which has the Exynos 5 Octa CPU, has a score of 13,111 points. Not a great difference in the two results, but uh, still, this probably is the first indication that the Exynos version will have a slight performance advantage. We'll proceed with the GFX Bench 7.2. This is the new name of the GL benchmark. And we'll run the 2.7 test uh, with uh, T-Rex HD. And here we have the results from the T-Rex HD benchmark. Surprisingly, the Snapdragon 600 powered Galaxy S 4 has achieved a slightly better uh, FPS, it's got a um, score of 15 FPS for the test while the Exynos version of the handset has 13 FPS. Let us launch the, the Egypt test just to be sure that this hasn't been something specific to this test. I will launch Egypt HD on screen and Egypt HD on screen. And here we are, the Egypt HD test, obviously not as demanding as the T-Rex one because the frames per second are now much better. For the Snapdragon 600 version we have 41 FPS and for the Exynos version we have 40 FPS, so really a negligible um, difference here. Next up we're going to run the Velamo benchmark and uh, we're starting with the HTML5 test. So the Velamo HTML5 test is done and for the Galaxy S4 Snapdragon we have 1933 and for the Exynos Galaxy S4 we have 2026. Once again a slight advantage, advantage as in the Quadrant um, test. Next up we're going to proceed with the Velamo Metal test. What's uh, different about the metal par part of the Velamo benchmark is that it doesn't focus on HTML5 and web performance, but instead focuses on the speed of uh, components like the RAM, the storage, the CPU, the GPU, and um, this kind of stuff. So the results from Velamo Metal are complete, and um, once again the Exynos 5 version here has um, gained the upper hand with 1034 points as opposed to the Snapdragon GS4 with 710. Next up we are running the 3D Mark benchmark and the Ice Storm Extreme test. Okay, so the Tree Mark Ice Storm Extreme test has finished, and this time around we see the Snapdragon 600 performing better with an overall score of um, 6654 against a score of 6237. So the two handsets seem to be about equal right now after all the tests that we've run, but we still have. Um, one final test to perform on both devices and this is the Antutu benchmark. So let's go ahead and start this one. 
and see what it's going to show at the end. Finally, we have the last results ready from the N22 benchmark and the Galaxy S4 um, with Snapdragon 600 here has a score of 24,133. The Exynos powered Galaxy S4 has a significantly higher score of 27,141. However, after all the benchmarks that we've run and the different types of tests, um, we can conclude that the two handsets are about equal in their um, performance because one time the Snapdragon 600 uh, version is faster, the other time um, the Exynos one gets the upper hand, so uh, you can't really tell which is the overall better or faster uh, handset because each seems to be slightly better in different circumstances. One thing is certain, both of the Galaxy S4 versions are incredible devices with great power. For more details, don't forget to check us out at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.